what was the great unconformity time period during which a huge chunk of the earth's paleontological timeline disappeared okay i hope i haven't taken this question before but anyway let's take it so this is a question about geology about natural history like the hashtag says the hashtag over here natural history it's a geological question so the earth as we know has sedimentation and sediments naturally depo- get deposited on the crust of the earth and the in the bottoms or uh, bottom of the oceans through natural processes and this typically takes uh, millions of years so if we and and over over time because of geological processes these sediments and these formations they there is upheaval geological upheaval and these eventually break out through the surface of the earth and lots of mountains if you go to the himalayas you will see lots of sedimentary layers you know layer upon layer upon layer in each layer typically is it represents a time period of tens of thousands of years sometimes hundreds of times thousands of years and a 1 foot 2 foot thick layer of multiple sediments could be several million years so that's how it happens now and we can date the sediments that this layer of sediment these these particular sediments they date from what time period and so on there are various means and ways and means of doing that so we can determine at what level which sediment uh existed was was formed so if you want to see what sediments look like let me put that on the screen so that those of you are who are not aware will get an understanding okay so earth sedi sediments so what do sediments look like so see you will see rocks in mountains and hills that have these layers so each of these layers generally represents a sediment that is that is thousands maybe tens of thousands maybe millions of years old and you will see this all over the place i'm i'm sure everybody is familiar with such sediments and you can see that there are people there are people standing on top of this formation and below that there are sediments that would go back hundreds of thousands of millions maybe billions of years at times and you can see that each sediment every every stratum of sediment has different characteristics different colors and, and so on so this is a snapshot into the deep history of the planet itself and you will often find uh, fossils within sediments some sediments have uh, shocked quartz and iridium which which is the indicator of a significantly large impact event like the last impact event extinction the chicxulub event that happened about 66 million years ago and you discover if you go back that at that particular point in time in sediments you will discover iridium and you will discover shocked quartz and you will discover many other things like spherules and all that so that tells you that something drastic happened at that time so that is what sediments are now what is the great unconformity time period it is a it is essentially an absence of sediments from a certain period in our planet's history so if you go back if you if you go to places like the grand canyon in north america which is currently part of the us and so on you will find all these exposed sediments on the surfaces of the hills and various formations and you will find that certain time periods are missing there's a significant missing time period between half a billion to 1.2 billion years that sort of time period and for that time period which begins if we start going backwards from today it starts about 530 540 million years before today and it goes all the way back to maybe a billion a billion and a half years before today so that gap of time is missing in the sediments and you find this in various parts of the planet not just at the grand canyon and that is the great unconformity unconf- missing evidence i mean missing missing sediments of the earth of the earth's uh, natural history so that's the great unconformity and the question is why is this time period missing from all these sediments why don't we have layers pertaining to that time period and we don't quite have answers we don't quite have have the answer to why is that time period missing from the sedimentary history of the planet it's a mystery and there there are possible solutions that have been proposed maybe there was a lot of erosion or whatever in that time period which is why the sediments could not form and they could not settle down in the bottoms of the oceans a lot of churn of some kind so we don't quite have the answers right now but that is a big mystery 
so there's mysteries not just in theoretical physics when it comes to dark matter dark energy all that stuff and much more there's mysteries when it comes to the history of our own planet itself lots of mysteries when it comes to earth's natural history right so this is one of those, those mysteries and there are many many more mysteries the origin of life is a big mystery but the great unconformity that is a missing it's it's a gap in our uh, in the hard history of the planet the sediment the, those layers are missing and we don't quite know why they are missing so yeah that's what it is